Today we are continuing on our topic, the grace of God. The grace of God. Part 2. The grace of God. Part 2. Just for a reminder, for those who are not together with us last Sunday, we started the topic of the grace of God. And we saw that it is the grace that makes men. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. It makes a sinner, it makes a sinner becomes righteous. And or it makes a saint out of the sinner. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's the grace of God that works, makes the journey of man great here on earth. Hallelujah. Amen. The grace of God. Mm -hmm. Paul spoke about the grace of God. Many, every letter he wrote, the grace of God, you can see it in the in his, in his, in his epistles, mm. his letters. Hallelujah. Mm. So the grace of God is a builder of men. Is that what? Builder Build of men. The grace of God rescues men. That's what? Rescues, rescues men. men. It builds you up, it makes you up, it rescues you, it delivers you. And that's why you saw Paul, his boast. Is only in the grace of God. It's not only in what? The, the grace, grace of, of God. God. He said, I am the least of the apostles. I was not there with Jesus Christ. The two disciples were together with Jesus. I, Paul, I was not there. But I am being made greater by the grace of God. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This one were together with Jesus. Anywhere Jesus traveled, they are with them. Hallelujah. Amen. But Paul never encountered Jesus personally. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. eh? But he said, I am the least of the apostles. Even I'm chosen. You know, it, it was Jesus' choice. Paul was it Jesus who? Choice. When, when uh, Judas fall, when Judas uh, shot his, uh, he killed himself because of, 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 uh, of selling Jesus. Now Jesus chose Paul, Paul. a murderer. Uh, somebody who persecuted the church of Jesus Christ. That was Jesus' choice. He chose a murderer and made him what? Mm. An apostle by his grace. By his what? Grace. His grace. Hallelujah. Amen. They cast lot. The one they cast lot for is not, it's not known anywhere in the Bible. Is that true? Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. In the book of Acts chapter 1, they were saying, because now Judas has left us, can we cast lots? You in the system of democracy, system of yeah, democracy. Well, can two a kura or kasema and I just read. There's a funny name and I just read something. M to end Acts chapter four, chapter one. Acts chapter one. You know that one is just by the way. It's not in the praise the Lord. Acts chapter one. If you look from verse. From verse 12. Somebody can read for us from verse 12. Oh. My brother to 20 all the way. You can read from verse 18. So my 18. And then the one who's reading. Huh? Mm -hmm. Verse 18, chapter 1, verse 18. Can somebody read? Now, this man persists a field with the reward of iniquity, and falling headlong, he passed asunder in the midst, and all his boils cast out. 19. And it was known to all the dwellers at Jerusalem, insomuch as that field is called in the year proper time, a seldama, that is to say, the field of blood. 20. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate, and let no man dwell therein. And his by so creek let another take. Wherefore, of these men we shall accompanied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us. 22. Beginning from the baptism of John to that same day that he was taken up from us. Must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection? Mm -hmm. 23. And they appointed two, mm -hmm. Joseph called Basabas, mm -hmm. 
who was surnamed Justus mm -hmm. and Matthias. Mm -hmm. And they prayed and said, You, Lord, which know the hearts of all men, show which of these two you have chosen, that he may take part of this ministry mm -hmm. and apostleship, mm -hmm. from which Judas by transgression fell, mm -hmm. that he might go to his own place. Mm -hmm. 26. And they gave forth the lords, and the Lord fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. Matthias. Who? Matthias. From that casting lot, Matthias never heard again in the Bible. Do you know that? He was never heard again. again. Until Acts chapter 9, when now God called Paul, Jesus himself. You, you, should, you should understand, the twelve apostles were not chosen by men. They were only chosen by Lord Jesus himself. 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 Yeah. Even the, these twelve ones, plus Judas, it is Jesus who called them by himself. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. When this one failed, then they cast lot. That is democracy. God is not for democracy. God is not for what? Democracy. democracy. But God saw Paul. He saw what? Paul. As wicked as he is, he said, this one is now my apostle. And that's why he says, I am the least. He's what? I am the least. But he has been built by the grace of God. God. Hallelujah. So the grace of God her, is a virtue, is the greatest treasure to every believer. Is that what? Greatest treasure to every believer. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And that's why we, we also saw that even Noah found grace in the eyes of God. The only place where you find the, the grace appearing first time in the Bible is in the book of Genesis chapter 6 and verse 8. And Noah found the grace of God, the grace in the eyes of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God was preparing to, to destroy all living things by the flood. Hallelujah. Amen. But Noah found what? Grace. grace. Noah found what? Grace. grace. So it is grace that saved who? Noah. Hallelujah. Eh? Others, they didn't find grace. They all perished in the flood. Hallelujah. Amen. And also we saw that today's flood, we have many kinds of floods. We have floods of broken, broken marriages. We have floods of sickness. We have floods of poverty. We have floods of failure, frustration. All kinds of floods mm -hmm. there in this world today. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And the only way to escape this, this flood of life is by understanding the grace of God and how it operates. And how it does what? It operates. It operates. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So the grace of God is very vital. It's very what? Vital. Vital. To escape the floods of this life. To do what? Escape. To escape the floods of this life. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Many people are swimming in the floods of all manner. Their marriages are dying. Their health is dying. Their careers are dying. Whatever kind is dying, they are in the floods. Hallelujah. Amen. They are crying for help. They are crying for what? For help. For help. But you, as a believer, you have the grace inside of you. But we don't know how to take advantage of the grace. We don't know to do what? To take advantage Hallelujah. of the grace. To work for us. Hallelujah. Mm. And we saw what's the grace. We said the grace is unmerited favor. favor. Hallelujah. Amen. When you're talking of favor, you're talking of grace. Hallelujah. Mm. And you saw that grace is not earned. Mm. Grace is not uh, purchased. It is given freely. It's given what? Freely. Freely by God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And also we saw that grace has its source. Has its what? Its source. source. It comes from where? God the Father through His Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, grace is given. Is that not? It's given. It's given. Today we are going to look how do we take advantage of the grace of God upon our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us go to the first, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 6. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 6. You know why we are, when we are small like this, I like to encourage people to read the word. But when we shall be many, 
we shall appoint one person who will be having a mic and a Bible to be ready for us. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So now I want someone to read Second Timothy chapter one and verse six. Second Timothy chapter one verse six. For this reason, mm -hmm. I remind you to keep alive the gift that God gave you when I light my hand on you. King James, what does it say? Uh, uh, then you repeat again. I'm going to say, King James, then I'm going to repeat again. I read again. Okay, okay. Somebody read the King James, and then you read again. Chapter 1, verse 6. Yes. Wherefore, I put you in remembrance that you stir up the gift of God which is in you by the putting on of my hands. That's the word I was looking at. Like, stir up. Stir what? Stir up. For this reason, mm -hmm. I remind you to keep alive the gift that God gave you when I laid my hands on you. Okay, keep an eye. So the word I want you to hear is star up. Is what? Star up. Whatever gift gives, gives you, God gives you, that gift needs to be stirred up. up. Need to be done what? To start up. up. Grace is a, we saw it the last Sunday, is a gift of God given to us as believers. Amen? Mm -hmm. We have the grace of God as a gift. But that gift cannot profit us if it is not stirred mm -hmm. up. Now, if somebody brings tea and then there is no sugar, and then I put three spoons of sugar, even five tins of sugar inside the tea, and I drink, will it, will, will it taste good? No. no. Why? It's not stirred up. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Have you understood? Yes. Yes, the grace is inside us. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. But it will never work until it is done what? It's stirred, stirred up. up. Hello? Amen. Mm -hmm. Every believer has grace. But the grace you have needs to be done what? It's stirred stirred up. up. That's the key word there. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Until you understand, you need to stop the grace. The grace will never work for, for you. We never do what? Work for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. We understand last Sunday that Jesus came full of grace and truth. Full of what? Grace and truth. Full of grace and truth. But he was not dormant. He stirred up his own grace. He did what? He stirred it up. And it worked for him. He did what? It worked for him. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, it is a gift, but until you take steps to start out the grace, the grace will remain dormant. It will remain what? Dormant. Kuna watu wanaweza jazwa na rom takatifu, which is a gift. Is that true? If they refuse to speak in tongues, it doesn't matter how full they are with the Holy Spirit, they will, they will go dry. They will go what? Dry. Why? Because they are not starting up the gift. The gift. The gift. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You are speaking in tongues, but you don't want to speak in tongues. Sunday Tafika, don't speak in tongues or fellowship. It means you are not stirring up your day. What? Mm -hmm. The gift in you. You are not going to do much. Mm -hmm. Stirring the gift in you. Mm -hmm. Me, I love speaking in tongues. Hmm? Praise the Lord. Nikiana Niko Kaibuna Watu Ambao, they will be offended with speaking in tongues. I will be quiet. But when I'm alone, I will speak. I'll do what? I'm I'll speak in tongues. Even road driving, I'll speak. Why? I'm starting the gift inside of me. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hello? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, starting the grace is a responsibility of every believer. Is that what? A responsibility, responsibility of, of every believer. believer. Hallelujah. Amen. It is my responsibility, it is your responsibility. For me and, and I to understand, I have the grace of God as a gift, and I have the Holy Spirit as a gift, but I need to start it up. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And we are going to look one of those tools. There are many tools of starting up the grace of God, but one of the tools we are going to look today is called obedience. It's called what? Obedience. 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 Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Obedience is one of the tools that to start up the grace of mm -hmm. God. Let us look in the book of Philippians chapter 2 and verse 8. Somebody read for us. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 8. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. 
stirring up the grace of God. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, mm -hmm. even the death of the cross. He became what? Obedience, even to the obedience of what? The, the death of, of the cross. cross. It means when Jesus was obedient from the word go, what was he doing? He was starting up the grace of God. God. God upon his life, his life to work for him through obi obedience. obedience. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mm. He was stirring up, stirring up the grace of God upon his life. If he wanted the grace to prosper, he was stirring up through obi obedience. obedience. He wanted the grace for healing. He was stirring up through what? Obedience. obedience. Hallelujah. Mm. We have all kind of graces. We have all kind of what? Grace. Graces. But it takes obedience to start to start the, the grace of what? Of that particular area. Hallelujah. Hello. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. So obedience is one of the tools you use to start up the grace. To start with what? The grace. The grace. Hallelujah. Mm. If you want to see the grace of prosperity being started through your life, then you must obey what the word says concerning that area, for that grace to start working for you, mm -hmm. for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let us read 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 to 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 to 4. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ need to be started up. Glory to God. So let us open the second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 to 4. Someone can read for us. Moreover, for brethren, we do, we do you know, we do you to know of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. How that in a great trial of affliction, mm -hmm. the abundance of their joy and, and their deep poverty abounded to leashes of their liberality. Mm -hmm. For to their powers I bear record, yeah, and beyond their power they were willing of themselves, praying us with much entreaty that we would receive the gift and take upon us the fellowship of the ministry ministering to the saints. Amen. How do they stay the, this grace of prosperity? It was tired by giving. By what? Giving. They were so in poverty, but they were giving. They were doing what? They were giving. That's obedience. That's what? Obedience. obedience. They know the law of prosperity is activated by mm. giving. It's activated by what? Giving. In their deep poverty, in their deep poverty, they were begging Paul, they were begging other people to receive their gifts. To do what? To receive, to their, receive gifts. their gifts. Why? Because they wanted the grace of prosperity to work upon their lives. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see Paul says, if I, down there, verse 9, the same same chapter, verse 9, you see what Paul says about this grace of prosperity in verse 9. Mm -hmm. It must be activated to, for it to become a, real, a reality. Then what does it say, verse 9? I see where he is, where she has left them. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. that though he was rich, mm -hmm. yet for your sake he became poor, that, that you through his poverty mm -hmm. might be rich. Amen. We know that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, this is the area of prosperity, this is the area of what? Yes, the grace of God in the area of prosperity that Jesus became poor in the cross of Calvary for that you and me, we may become what? Rich. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That one is settled. So it means that grace is good, is free. But even everyone quote that scripture like that and it's not selling up that grace. Will he enjoy prosperity? Mm -hmm. huh? It doesn't matter how much you square. At yes, alikuwa mas, alifanyo maskini. You confess until you die. Until what? Because you don't know how to stop that grace. 
That grace. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's true, the grace of prosperity has been released in the cross of Calvary by Jesus Christ. But there is how to stir up that grace of prosper, prosperity. This church was stirring up that grace by giving. By what? By giving. By giving. Hallelujah. Amen. They were givers. They were what? Givers. Givers. Why? They wanted to come out of poverty. They were in poverty and they wanted to come out of it. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Praise the Lord. The woman with the, with the woman of Zarephath, when, when, when the prophet Elijah appeared to her, she had the last food to eat. Her and her child and then died. Hello? Mm -hmm. But the moment she gave her last meal, the grace to sustain her was released. The grace to do what? Sustain, sustain her was released. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. eh? She didn't know that the only way to start up that was to obey the man of God, what he's telling. He told me, bring, and I'll make sure that, and God will make sure that your crystal of oil and flow shall never finish. Mm -hmm. As she gave, the grace of supply was activated. Was that not? Right, activated. Activated. By her obedience. By her what? Her obedience. obedience. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. We have grace, yes, but obedience is a tool to activate the grace of? God to work on your favor. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have all kind of graces. We have what? Kind of all kind of graces. graces. And those graces will work for you until you know how to obey the demands of that grace to work for you. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Also, we understand that Jesus died on the cross for every sin. Is that true? Every sinner all over the world is saved through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. But are all saved? No. no. Why? Because they have not obeyed the principle to activate the grace. The grace. What is the principle? It says if you believe in your heart that Jesus, hallelujah, Amen. died went to hell, mm -hmm. and finally resurrected. You shall be just mm -hmm. justified. And when you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior of your, of your life, then you shall be saved. saved. Because they don't want to confess Him. They don't want to, to, Him to be a master and Savior of your life. So, the grace of salvation is not in view. Why? Because they are not obe obedient Obedient to the gospel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, the grace of God is